Hello, I'm Melissa from the Swindon Libraries and Information Service and another thought short today, a short activity that requires a bit of thought. So we're going to be doing some thinking and some thinking about thinking. All you really need is a pen and paper. I've just got a mini whiteboard so that you can see what I'm doing. So while I was doing my shopping this morning, I was thinking that there's lots of things that we always say in um, a particular order. So a group of words that we tend to put the words in a certain format. So things might be like we talk about salt and pepper and fish and chips. Why not chips and fish? Bread and butter and oranges and lemons. And that got me thinking about an activity where we can make connections, compare and devise methods. So what we're going to have a go at doing is writing our own list as many as we can from any topic that you like of some of these phrases where the words always seem to run in a particular order okay so so that i can join in too i'm going to use the timer you ready and then we'll swap answers at the end okay I think I'm done. Oh. Okay, so let me just have a little count and then we'll swap answers. Okay, I think I've got ten. There's a couple more that were nearly there, but I didn't quite get them. So, knife and fork, north and south, up and over, pure and simple, please and thank you, pluses and minuses, rich and poor, above and beyond, vest and pants, and tea and cake. Okay, so, not sure how many you got, but what I'd like you to perhaps take away and try is... Now that you've got your list of these collocations, the group of words that appear in a certain order, can you group them into some categories? Because it was doing my food shopping that made me realise that there's quite a few food related ones and I've got knife and fork here as well and tea and cake. Do any of the others fall into any categories? Okay, see how you get on. See you again soon. Bye bye.